Good morning, Ellen. Good morning, Miss Helen. <laughs> what type of proteins are best for us? And today, I really want you to.、Um, I know you are very into supplements, and you love、um, testing them first. And I'd like you to share with the ladies what are the difference of premium protein powder versus the non-premium. What I meant by sometimes、um, the regular one would be store bought. The premium would be perhaps、um, not in the stores, but get to by different types of、um, avenue. For example,、um, um, you know, people have different sales and marketing methods, right? So, does it make a difference, or in terms of price, is it, are they really premium products? I, I know. I just wanted to.、Uh, Um, I mean, I have tried different types, and I believe the ladies, my ladies, would like to know because sometimes、um, it's not just the price. How can they tell? Are they really getting the benefit they need? Right, right. Good question. It's. It, I agree with what you're saying because it's sometimes hard to tell just from looking at the labels. Well, what's a premium protein? Source and what's an okay and what's a crappy protein source because they all have, you know, a, a lot of companies will use good marketing, yeah, a product that's okay. Yes, yes.、Sometimes、a product that's actually really good has very little or crappy、mm. marketing. So, and now, how can you tell? Yeah, yeah exactly. Right.、Mm -hmm. So, in a nutshell, what I usually do is I tell people try and test. Like do your reviews, you know, talk to your friends,、mm. but you're never really gonna know for sure、mm. until you try something for yourself.、Mm. The reason why that's so essential is because just because one or two people try it, and let's say for example they didn't have a great result,、mm. it doesn't mean you won't.、Mm. And the opposite is true as well. Just because they had a fantastic result, it doesn't guarantee that you'll have a fantastic result as well. So, the only way to really know is to try something for yourself. And what I usually tell people is, if there's ever something that you're very curious about, go and buy the product,、mm -hmm. try it for at minimum of two weeks, but not dabble. Not like, oh, I tried it here and I tried it there. I did it on Monday and then on Wednesday. Like, have the schedule. Make sure you're having it daily.、Mm -hmm. Have your clean diet or whatever is required for you to、mm -hmm. get your results,、mm -hmm. and incorporate that product. With your routine,、mm -hmm. measure your results when you're done with photos and with numbers, and written down numbers, and then ask yourself: Are you headed in the direction of your goal or not?、Mm -hmm. This is super important because sometimes, and I, I'm guilty of this as well, so I'm not pointing fingers. But sometimes we rely too much on other people's opinions before making our own decision to say, "Okay, well, this is this is worth trying, or it's worth not worth trying." Or sometimes people get too worried about whether other people might think, and I, I say that you know, with me too. Like I've I've been worried before about having people judge me on what kind of protein I'm going to buy or what kind of you know where I'm going to buy it from. And in reality, it's like it, it feels weird to almost bring this up, but I bring it up because it's a real thing. So in, number one, to find out what the real quality of like what's real quality. Be willing to test. Number one, number one, number one. Number two, be willing to test with good judgment, with good practice. So don't dabble.、Mm -hmm. Like don't expect. I always tell people this all the time. Don't expect high rewards if you're not putting in the high effort, the daily high practice of getting that result. Because、mm -hmm. you're not going to know. Like some people will buy a high protein, like a high grade protein, and just assume. Okay, I'm just gonna look fantastic and feel great because now I'm drinking this protein. Well, no, it, it, that's like saying that's like saying I'm gonna buy really high premium grade gas for my car and it's gonna run smoothly. <laughs> well, if you never turn the engine on,、mm -hmm. or if you don't know how to drive properly,、mm, I'm not sure how much of a great experience you're gonna have、mm -hmm. driving that, that car, that, even that though you、that. put premium gas in it. 
Right. Like you gotta take you gotta take it for the drive, right? Mm -hmm. In this case, the drive is your body. The car is your body. So mm -hmm. you put the high premium grade gasoline in, per se, your protein, and mm -hmm. then you put it to work. And then find out after two to three to four weeks, are you starting to see a little physical change on your body? Mm -hmm. Are you starting to see the numbers change? Because hopefully you're tracking it. So body fat percentage, muscle percentage being the most important for our line of work. Mm -hmm. Not for everybody, but for what you and I are trying to accomplish with other people. Mm -hmm. And to be able to measure that over a period of time. You know, in closing off this video, I can say that there are some, I, I don't want to, I don't want to label companies because sometimes like somebody will watch this video mm -hmm. 10 years down the road and then the company X is not making the high grade stuff. Mm -hmm. so no, we don't need to mention the company. Right? Yeah. Definitely. But what I can say is that when companies use, let's say it's on the, uh, on the whey protein side, mm -hmm. when they're using grass fed cows, mm -hmm. that's usually a good sign. Okay. So grass fed cows just means that like when you look at whey protein, the way it's made, it comes from the cow. Mm. You, it comes from a part of the milk of mm. the cow, whether it's the top, like the froth, or again, the base of the, of the cow's milk. Mm -hmm. It's some part of the cow. A lot of times, those cows are treated in not so great conditions. They're pumped mm -hmm. with steroids, they're, they're shoved into a corner, they're stressed out all the time. The food that they eat is not so wonderful. At mm -hmm. least that's what we've been told, right? Mm -hmm. And a grass-fed cow, in contrast, is a cow that's been fed great nutrition. It's mm -hmm. been well taken care of, or at least that's what we've been told to believe. Mm -hmm. As an end result, that's supposed to add quality to our bodies because the absorption rate is higher, the quality of the nutrition is better overall. Now, mm -hmm. again, I'm saying that very generally because a lot of companies can claim grass-fed, but mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll just buy the rights to of that name. Like you can call it, you, you can call your company grass fed. Mm -hmm. So the moment you put grass fed on the label, it's actually your company you're calling grass fed, but it's not actually grass fed. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a bit of a legal um, loophole to what I've been told. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's important to to just not only read the labels, but also try it for yourself. I mean, mm -hmm. you can listen to your friends. You should you should listen to your friends that are in the industry that right. are getting the results. You right. should check the Google reviews. I do. Mm. But once I've done all that, the final decision comes to me. Like if we're talking about me as the example, when I take it for two, three, four, five weeks, how does my body look after? How do I feel after? Mm. Am I health? Do I feel healthier? Do I feel stronger? Do I feel more alive? Do I look better in my shirt? Do I look better without my shirt? I mean, all of those apply. Yes. yes. Protein is giving you the results you want. And chances are, you found yourself a good blend. And I mean, look, uh, on a side note, if somebody ever asks, well, what are the good ones? If you, they can feel free to, to message us and, and to talk yeah. to me. We'll yeah. be happy to tell them. Just yeah. not in this video because this video is going to play forever. And I don't want to label companies that are great now, but maybe they're not here in 20 years. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But if they want to know, they can private message us. We'd be happy to share. Yes. Thank you so much, Alan. Mm -hmm. Thank you.